Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, there is a new NVIDIA driver out this morning that I recommend everybody gets. This is the official release of what was the hotfix driver that I posted about a couple days ago. Uh, the only thing they've changed since this hotfix driver, or since the previous hotfix driver, was that this stutter scrolling in web browsers has been fixed. Right? So that was that was an issue that was still present in the hotfix driver um the the micro stuttering in games with vsync enabled has been fixed that was the point of the hotfix driver it has now been released here as a full driver um a couple things i want to get into with this uh number one i am done doing the display driver uninstaller process and that whole thing where you remove your driver entirely boot into safe mode do all that stuff and then reinstall your driver from scratch the reason i'm done doing that is i'm just not convinced it's necessary i've done some reading online on this i don't think it's necessary unless you're having problems if you are having problems with your driver that's a process i would go through if it's a normal driver update it's not a process i would go through uh, and i'm going to show you real quick what I do uh, to install a new driver. Uh, I am going to put a link to this uh, short video which shows you how to reboot either Windows 10 or Windows 11 in start mode. It says Windows 10, it works for both. Um, I created a very advanced, as you guys know by now, uh, my, my video editing skills are nothing less than prime time this is the process you go through uh you click on the windows i'm going to leave this here for a second so you guys can take a picture of it if you need to uh, i'm just trying to make this as simple as possible because windows has made it as difficult as possible to restart in safe mode and then i'll explain to you why we want to restart in safe mode in a second so you click the windows key the power button you hold down your shift key and then click the restart button and then a a uh, menu is going to come up you click troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and then click restart your pc will restart with a list of options you press the four key and this will restart into safe mode now i would do you do this before you do the driver install process and I'll, I'll talk about the driver install process in a second. Now we've gone through the DX cache deletion, the shader cache deletion, right? So I'm, I'm going to put a link to that video in the description so you can find it if you need to. Here's the deal. Uh, the location of the shader cache for the DX cache for the new NVIDIA drivers has moved. It is now in your app data, local low, NVIDIA per driver version DX cache uh, folder, okay? So if you've got your users, you click on your username, you click on app data, you click on local low, then you click on NVIDIA, and you'll see this folder per driver version okay and you click in that and you'll get this dx cache folder now what i have done and what i suggest you do is right click the dx cache folder and come down here and click create shortcut right and so then when you want to do this in the future you've got this windows shortcut you've got the shortcut on your desktop you just double click it okay um the locations of the other folders are in the video i will link in the description so you can you can do that this is the only difference now the dx cache folder is located somewhere else so i what I, what i do is i boot into safe mode i delete the gl cache the dx cache the d3d cache you don't need to delete the computer cache i do it you don't need to and then I also have this folder for the rolling cache, uh, which I've deleted. It's not there right now because I just deleted it. Um, and so there's a there's a 
a file in this folder called rolling cache. I just click on it and delete it. It's much, much easier than going into Microsoft Flight Simulator and then going through that process in the settings. Um, so I would boot into safe mode, clear all these things out in safe mode. Um, and the, and the other thing I am done doing, I, I always prior to, uh, maybe December of 2023, it's now February, February 14th, happy Valentine's day. Um, prior to December ish. What I used to do is just use GeForce Experience to update my drivers. Now, you will not get hotfix drivers in GeForce Experience. You will only get game-ready drivers, okay? Uh, a lot of people are very negative about GeForce Experience and the problems it causes and it, you know, performance issues and blah, 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 blah. Y you guys have watched my videos, presumably, my flying, you know, my flight videos, my in-flight videos in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I record all of my videos using GeForce Experience. That's what I use. It's I don't understand why people think this is such a problematic, difficult program. Um, so I would suggest you use it. I'm going to continue. I, this is what I'm going back to is this process of in installing my drivers through GeForce Experience. So when you when you open GeForce Experience, first of all, if you don't have it, um, I will put a uh, this link in the description so you can come here and download the GeForce Game Ready driver. This is 551.52. You can just download it here. Um, and but what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to download and install the drivers right through GeForce. First of all, do the safe mode process. Uh, delete all of this fun stuff then come back restart windows into normal mode in geforce experience you down you click on drivers right here you download the driver here's the key thing custom installation is what you want now i'm going to show you here real quick hopefully it doesn't take too long um because there's there's uh one particular thing you do not want uh, that will cause problems with uh, with your performance if it is installed. Okay, so this comes up. GeForce Game Ready Driver. Um, I don't have a gra Actually, my current graphics driver is this one here, 551.46. New version, 551.12. I do want that. Uh, that's automatically selected because that's the whole point. Physics system software, if there is an update, go ahead and update that. Uh, mine is the same. Uh, this hasn't been updated in, I don't know, two years, so there's usually no update there. The one thing you do not want to install is the HD audio driver. Uncheck that. The, the audio driver, the NVIDIA audio driver, for whatever reason, has a really problematic history with Microsoft Flight Simulator. I deleted it a long, long time ago. I don't remember what the issue was. It was a performance issue. I deleted that probably two years ago. Do not reinstall the HD audio driver. If you have it installed, figure out how to uninstall it. Look on YouTube, figure out how to uninstall it. Um, you don't want that. Do not select Perform a Clean Installation because Perform a Clean Installation deletes all of your uh, deletes all of your settings. Um, and then just go ahead and click install and it will install the program. One very last point on this, uh, this new driver. Um, the one thing that has not been fixed and is still an outstanding issue is the, um, the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA, excuse me, um, filters for whatever reason, the filters don't save. Um, and every time you reload the same, you have to reload your, your NVIDIA filters. Um, if that's an issue for you, you're probably going to want to stay at, uh, I think there was a, I think it was 530 something. There was a 530 something driver was the last driver that, that worked, uh, without this problem. I don't use NVIDIA shaders, so, or in, NVIDIA filters, so it doesn't matter. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this, 
um, please let me know in the comments. Again, highlights. Uh, reboot into safe mode. Delete your DX cache, your GL cache, the D3DS cache. I'm going to put my video describing how to do this in the description. Also, to delete your rolling cache is a very, very simple way to do that. I'll put that video in the description. Reboot into regular mode. My recommendation is to do this through GeForce Experience. If you do not have GeForce Experience, download the Game Ready Driver from this website, which will also be in the description. I would recommend installing GeForce Experience just because it's going to make the install process a lot easier. I am no longer doing the Display Driver uninstaller. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm going to be back streaming this afternoon at 3 o'clock if any of you want to join. Uh, we're going to be doing some flying around the Caribbean, uh, most likely in the Britain Norman Islander. Hope you guys are having a great day, and we shall talk soon.